Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're going to be installing 6x9 inch component speakers on this 2007 Dodge Ram 1500. Now, in this install, we're going to show you how to install 6x9 mid bass here in the door and a tweeter up in the dash. Let's get started. Okay, so at this time we need to go ahead and get our door panel removed to get access to remove the factory 6x9. There's going to be four screws. There's one up here in the sail panel, one here behind the handle, and then there's also going to be two screws here at the bottom of the door. Now inside the handle to remove the handle itself, there is a 10 millimeter bolt which allows that to move free. Then once everything's out, it lifts up and out of the way. Let's grab our Phillips screwdriver, go ahead and remove the screw back behind the handle here. With those four screws removed, kind of pull back on your handle a little bit. You'll see a little channel in there with the 10 millimeter bolt. Go ahead and get your socket on there, just like so. Now the rest of the panel is actually just held on with taps. It's not clip. You don't have to pull out, you lift up. So I get my hand up underneath, kind of give it a shake. Sometimes a little tap helps. There you go. Now there's going to be a couple of harnesses holding on your switch panel here. Go ahead and disconnect each harness. All right. Now each one of these harnesses have little teeny tabs. You push in the tab and the plug should slide on out. Obviously they're different sizes, so they'll go back in their own specific slot. So with that out of the way, we have our factory 6x9. Now the 6x9 is held in with four screws. Okay, go ahead and remove that. This comes on free. You're gonna see a harness here. Go ahead and disconnect that, push in the tab. Speaker comes free. Now let's go ahead, put this off to the side and talk about the tweeter. All right, so here in the vehicle, we already went ahead and pulled our panel off. Literally, it's clip, 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 all the way across. So you just start on one end and it pops on up here. And you may have the grills exposing holes, but you may or may not actually have speakers within those factory locations. For example, our center channel, our left channel, and our right channel, they were all empty there's nothing there's not even a harness there so you may just want to install either a coaxial but if you have the space for it and you want better audio quality I do suggest doing a component set which means we'd also be installing a tweeter with the mid-range woofer in the door so what we're gonna do is get a tweeter mount in this location there's not one for us to actually remove uh, if we did we'd have two screws it comes on out and there would be a harness when we head over to the bench, if you do have factory tweeters, we'll show you the harness that you'll need in the bracket to install a new tweeter. Um, in this install today, we're going to be installing a tweeter in that location and doing a bit of custom wiring as we need to tie that tweeter into the, the channel that goes to the door as well. So with that all out and removed, let's head over to the bench to show you the parts that we're going to need for our install. All right, so we're here at the bench. Now the parts that we're going with first and foremost is the component set that we're going with. It's this Alpine 6x9 inch component set. So the tweeter is actually a separate tweeter with its own passive crossover. Uh, this is a great setup in our vehicle considering that we have the tweeter in the dash and not in the door. Um, and so we wanted those separate with its own crossover. Now, like I said, you can get a coaxial set and we can link that down in the description in case you want that version of it. But since we have a space for tweeters, why not? Now to accommodate those speakers in the factory location, we'll need a couple of harness brackets and adapters here. So the door speaker bracket adapter, it's this Metra 72-6514. It comes in a pair. We've already used one for the other side. Um, we don't need a bracket adapter if we're installing a 6x9. Um, this speaker did come with a small spacer that we'll probably install. Now, if you're doing a six and a half in the front door, you'll just need a six by nine to six and a half inch adapter, and we can link that in the description as well. Now, 
because we don't need an adapter, we just need a harness for the door, but for the dash tweeter, we do need a bracket adapter, and we're using the Metra 82-4201 for Chrysler vehicles. And essentially here, this allows you to install whatever size tweeter you want. We have a one inch silk dome tweeter, but the housing is actually two inches. So we'll use a hole saw and cut a two inch hole in here and uh, get that mounted in the factory location. Now, since we don't have a tweeter from the factory, we'll need just two screws to mount that in the location as there are none currently there. If you did have the factory tweeter, there is a harness adapter, which we can link down in the description here for you. With all that out of the way, what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab our harness adapter, get it mounted on our mid-range, and then we'll need to go ahead and cut our hole to get our tweeter mounted in our bracket. Okay, so we got our speaker all prepped. We got our tweeter all mounted in the bracket. We like to loom it just to give a little more protection in the dash. This end, we're gonna have, because we don't have a harness there or a factory tweeter, just the hole for it, we'll have to run this down and connect into the kick panel uh, where the speaker wiring actually runs into the door. We'll just tee into that and wire it in parallel. Um, so we cut off the harness adapter ends and instead what we'll do is just solder this in. Um, on this specific uh, wiring set, positive is the solid, negative has the black stripe. We also loomed our other harness to give a little more protection in the door. And that's about it. So let's head back to the car to start getting everything reinstalled. All right, so we got that guy on in. Now it's always a good idea to double check and test everything to ensure it's working properly before you reassemble the door panel. Once you confirm it's, it is and it all sounds fine, you can go ahead and reinstall the door panel. All right, so got our tweeter all mounted there. Now you saw us just feed our harness down into the dash and it came out the bottom because so we'll need to attach that into the uh, door channel but uh, we'll do that here in a moment. So we went ahead and pulled this panel off, pulled this uh, cover back. It's just held in with these guys, which we worked on out. And in this harness that goes up into the door, our two wires that we need are this twisted pair. Uh, your positive to the door is gonna be with a white, a yellow stripe. Your negative is the blue stripe. So green with the yellow, green with the blue. Positive is yellow. Grab our wire strippers. We're gonna get them in there. Shielding just a hair on both of them. We'll put a hole through the wire. Harness that we fed down down from the tweeter. We'll put our positive on the yellow side. We stick our wire through the hole. And we'll wrap our wire through that. Same thing with the negative. And then we're gonna just do a little solder on those connections. All right, so before we tape those on up, let's go ahead and do a test to make sure our tweeter is now ready. So we got our crossover zip tied to the loom, got everything taped up. We taped up our connections, re-loomed our harness there, and uh, we'll just get this all reassembled, put the kick panel back on, 
tested everything, everything's functioning correctly. It's time now at this point for reassembly. Alright, so that's about it for this install. Front door speakers are done. We did the passenger side as well. And having your tweeters in front of you versus coming from the floor makes a heck of a lot difference in terms of sound quality. Um, you really get those clean highs instead of it being muffled down here in the door panel. So again, you can put a coaxial here and not the tweeter up in the dash. Um, but uh, with a little extra effort, you can make it sound a heck of a lot better. That's it for this install. Now, if you want to know how we did the passenger side, it's the identical process, just a mirror image. And if you want to see how we did the rear doors, we'll link that video down in the description that walks you through step by step on how to get six and a half inch coaxials mounted in the factory location. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw and don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time, but we'll see you in the next video.